What's up, everybody? How we doing? Matt Modai here with Odds Jam, here to give you some DFS plays specifically for today, Friday, January 20th. So we're looking at prize picks, we're looking at underdog, and we're finding the best DFS plays specifically for today, NBA, NHL. I believe that is everything that I have, <clears throat> have for today, just those two sports. So let's get right into it. Using Odds Jam to find profitable plays on price picks is really, really an awesome tool specifically for these DFS companies. So I'm assuming everybody watching this is familiar with how the payouts work with these DFS companies. If not, I'll talk about it real, real quick. It's basically like a player prop parlay. You can put in two to six legs in that parlay. The more legs you put in, the higher the payout is. Obviously, the higher the risk is as well, because unless you do like a flex play, which is obviously something that is an option, if you lose even one of those player props, you will um, lose your bet, right? So you have to win all of them in order to win. That's how a parlay works. You can do, like I said, up to two to five legs. The biggest difference with prize picks, and it's it's insane. Like the difference is like, the strategy is completely different when it comes to sports betting on like a FanDuel and a DraftKings than it is to prize picks, right? Because the payouts are the exact same no matter what plays, individual player props you put into your parlay. So every single two-leg entry on price picks on Underdog is going to double your money. Every single one, no matter what plays you add. For three legs on price picks, you 4x your money or 5x. Underdog for three legs, you 5x your money. And then it kind of scales up from there. But again, it doesn't matter what plays you add. And that's an insane difference from sports betting because like the sports books price all plays individually, right? Separately. They say, okay, Embiid going over is minus 112. LeBron going over is minus 125. Tatum is minus 115, whatever. Each play is looked at individually. Price picks doesn't do that. So you can find some incredibly valuable plays just from finding player props that, and this is going to sound stupidly obvious, but just that are likely to occur. That's it. Just look for player props that are likely to hit. And when I say that, I don't mean like, oh, I have a, I have a good feeling that John Morant's going to go off tonight. You know what? Devin Booker, although he's hurt, bad example, but Devin Booker's going to go off tonight. Jimmy Butler's going to go off tonight. No, I mean, find player props that the sports books themselves are telling you are likely to go over. So they're charging you more for it. They're juicing up those odds, but we're not paying any of that juice. So here's an example of exactly what I'm talking about. And this is a hockey play. So the way the odds shake out for a five or six pick flex on price picks, the, the price of an individual player prop is roughly minus 119. That's kind of the break-even number for a five or six pick flex, right? So minus 119 in sports betting terms means you have to risk $119 to profit 100. That's kind of how the math shakes out. It's like a 40, 54% hit rate, something like that. So for player props and for sports betting in general, any number above minus 119 signifies a heavier favorite than minus 119. So if you go to oddsjam.com, you go to tools, positive EV, you can filter specifically for prize picks and underdog, and it'll pull up positive expected value plays on those books. So for this one, Drake Batherson over two and a half shots on goal, Odds Jam calculates the no vig odds of this play to be at about minus 127. Eight cents higher than the break-even line on price picks. That's a good sign. That is good. <laughs> that means that this play is more likely to hit than the implied odds of what price picks is giving you. And the reason why we know it's more likely to hit, just look at where every sports book is pricing it, right? Like if a sports book deems a play more likely, they're gonna make it more expensive. It's as simple as that. Well, if you take out price picks, the minus 137 is for a two-leg one. We are locking in a five or six pick one. So you, you can ignore this two-leg one. Look at every other sports book. Pinnacle, which is the sharpest sports book in the world in terms of pricing odds, they're consistently the best, minus 145. Bet Online, another very sharp sports book, minus 147. DraftKings at minus 140. And then we see odds range from minus 137 all the way up to minus 165. These sports books think that Drake Batherson is significantly, heavily, heavily, heavily likely to go over two and a half shots on goal. So they're charging you a lot more for that play. Price picks doesn't do that. That makes price picks a really good, uh, or, excuse me, that makes 
this play a really good selection in a price picks entry. And that's exactly the type of value you are looking for. You're looking for player props that the sports books are telling you are likely to hit. So they're charging them more and you're putting them into a price picks entry. So this is leg number one, Drake Batherson over two and a half shots on goal. Another thing that I find fascinating is if you click this calculator, it tells you the percent chance of this bet hitting. And these are based on these odds here that Ajam calculates. So this minus 127 equates to a win percentage of roughly 56%. So Drake Batherson is has roughly a 56 point, uh, 56% chance of going over this play. We are not getting charged any extra juice for it, making it a really good play. Next up, we are looking at Luka Doncic to go under 54 and a half points, rebounds, assists. I understand the concern over this one. Luka's been incredible, but the math is telling us, the sports books are telling us that he's likely to go under. The no big odds on this one are at about minus 126, just above minus 126. And look at every other sports book. Same thing. Ignore the uh, minus 137 price picks one. Pinnacle, minus 146. Bet online, uh, or excuse me, DraftKings, minus 145. And then we see like minus 125 up to minus 148. Price picks is giving us minus 119 based on how their payouts work. So this play has just below 56, about 55.75% chance of hitting. So that's two player props that are going to hit just below a 56% rate that we are not paying any extra juice on. So this is play number two. Play number three, we're going back to hockey. Brian Rust under two and a half shots on goal. This is, um, again, the implied odds of minus 119. Odds Jam Novig line prices this at about minus 125, essentially minus 125. Um, the um, win percentage for this one is about 55 and a half. So we're still pretty, I mean, we're above that 55% mark. We're still uh, betting on plays, obviously, that are likely to occur by adding them to our prize picks entry. And then again, looking at the odds. So we have one book that's kind of close at minus 122. Every other book is not. We see minus 148 on Pinnacle, minus 145 on Bet Online, DraftKings minus 140, and then like, you know, one minus 145 up to minus 151. So this is play number three, Brian Rust under two and a half shots on goal. Next up, back to the NBA, we are looking at Tyler Hero to go over uh, four and a half rebounds. Odds Jam Perfect Line gives this the true line of minus 124. Looking at all of the sports books, we see odds. Pinnacle, minus 152. Bet Online, minus 145. Also, DraftKings, minus 145. Looks like, again, Bet, uh, Bet Rivers is kind of close at minus 129, but then we like see minus 130 all the way up to minus 151. And the win percentage of this one is just below 55.5% at 55.41. So this is play number four. Tyler Hero over four and a half shot, uh, rebounds, excuse me, <laughs> four and a half rebounds. Um, next up, we have Lou Dort under four and a half rebounds. Odds Jam Perfect Line prices this at about minus 123, a little bit above that, um, giving us a win percentage still above 55% at 55.2%. Again, looking at the sports books, Pinnacle was heavily favoring this one at minus 154, DraftKings at minus 135, and then odds ranging from minus 129 up to minus 146. So that is play number five. I have four more left here on price pick. So I'm going to do one five pick entry and then another four pick entry. So two entries total, nine player props total. And I'll kind of go through these ones a little bit quicker since you understand kind of the process behind it. Don't need to detail every single or uh, don't need to um, go into detail on every single one. So play number one on my next entry is Brooke Bozer under two and a half shots on goal. And for five picks, you have to do a flex. For four picks, I recommend doing a power play. I do not recommend flexing it. Uh, if you want to understand why, uh, we uh, just came out with a YouTube video talking about the math behind the three and four pick flex options. And then it's not profitable over the course of time. Or yes, I should say it's more profitable to do a power play versus a flex play. So for this one, I recommend playing it straight up. Brooke Bozer under two and a half shots on goal. NHL, another NHL play, Jake Gensel over two and a half shots on goal. That's play number two. Play number three, Paolo Banquero under one and a half made threes is play number three. And play number four, back to the NHL, Arturo Lekonen 
under two and a half shots on goal as my fourth and final play for my second entry. So again, I will list the four plays because I know I went through those kind of quick. So the last entry is these four plays right here. So if you want to pause it and lock these in, you can. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video. Two entries total, nine player props total for prize picks today, Friday, January 20th. And that's it. So I appreciate everybody watching. Um, if you are locking these in, would recommend or I would appreciate it if you could comment and just let me know. Other than that, helps me out a ton if you like and subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel. But that's it. So again, thanks for watching and have a good one.